mushroom season has begun. Today's August 1st, August 2nd, and uh, that's angosto. August in Spanish is agosto. Ango is fungus, and so angosto is like fungus August, a joke or something. Anyway, mushrooms are showing up all over the place. Really big ones like this are showing up. Look at how big that is. Look how pretty. I mean, here it is by my head. Look at the size of that. Now this, um, I have a list of a bunch of mushrooms that we've identified, but now I'm making a shorter list with pictures of just the ones that we care about, that we eat, or that we can use for something. Uh, this one's a very exciting mushroom. It's the Amanita cesarea. It's in a very dangerous family of mushrooms. The Amanitas have some of the most dangerous mushrooms there are around here. Some of them will kill you. Luckily, I know this mushroom, and it's a highly prized edible mushroom. But today I'm going to do a little experiment, because I like home science. So you're supposed to cook most all wild mushrooms, because otherwise you may have gastrointestinal problems or something, and different people have different sensitivities. But generally speaking, cook mushrooms before you eat them. The, mushroom, the button mushrooms you buy in the grocery store are an exception to that. Now, this particular one, I'm going to eat raw. Because the rumor is that this particular mushroom can be eaten raw and it's okay. I'm going to find that out. And I have to eat enough of it so that it's not just, you know, like a small problem if there's going to be a problem. So after this, I'll, I'll know for sure whether at least I, this may not be true for you because people are different, whether I have a problem eating this mushroom raw or not. The other thing I like about eating it raw is to really get the flavor of the individual mushroom. I feel like a lot of times people cook mushrooms, but they add so much other stuff that it overpowers the flavor of the mushroom. And then what's the point of the flavor of the mushroom? Now, that doesn't mean the mushroom is bad to eat. Mushrooms actually have lots of vitamins and minerals that other things don't have. In fact, for vegans or vegetarians, they might be good to eat because um, they might uh, supplement their diet really well. I can't say the flavor is totally amazing, um, but, you know, I'm not that big a gourmet. Um, it certainly is pretty. I mean, look at that. Look how pretty that is. Oh, well, I, I, don't, I was going to eat this whole thing. I don't know if I really want to. Now, I, I hope I don't have a problem. But if I do have a problem, then I guess that's still science. And then other people can know not to do what I'm doing. Mmm, that is good, though. It's at a nice age. I mean, wait a minute, this is not a, I mean, it's the wrong mushroom. No, just kidding. But you do have to be really careful with mushroom, mushroom identification. Um, that's why I'm making my list really well, because I want to help people safely eat mushrooms. You should never be overconfident, even if you've got a book. You should always go out with somebody who knows what they're doing when you're learning how to hunt mushrooms. And it should be somebody you trust a lot. I'm lucky because I live in one place. And I've lived here a long time, so I learned exactly what mushrooms are here. If I went to another place, then my knowledge would not necessarily transfer. And I would be more careful. That's going to take forever. I don't have to record the whole thing, do I? Although... There's a whole thing online where people, like, I think it's mainly young Japanese women. They go online as, like, webcam girls, but they just eat, and they get people paying to watch them eat. I find the world very confusing. I don't know if anyone's going to pay me to, to watch me eat a mushroom. Maybe if I get sick, they would pay for that. People are really weird. One reason to cook them 
It did get smaller. Look, I mean, I've only eaten like, was that 25% at most? Has like a skin on the top. See that? Normally you would cook these like with a little bit of olive oil, maybe some salt and pepper. Although I really think you might as well just, I mean, they have moisture in them. You could just cook them with almost nothing. Now, this is just starting and uh, the season, mushroom season. And so we're going to be able to do lots of experiments this year on doing different things with mushrooms, including drying them. I have a solar dehydrator. There's like dirt on this. Um, but the solar dehydrator doesn't work in the rainy season, so we might have to dry them by a fire or something. And we could learn which ones we can dry so we could use them other parts of the year. The other thing, <laughs> the other thing, The other thing we can do is, is we can reproduce the mushrooms, not in a building. I've got like two Paul Stamets books on, on growing mushrooms in fancy ways in buildings and stuff. But what I'm more interested in is growing them outdoors by taking their existing habitats and improving them. I have also tried some experiments with what's called mass spore inoculation where you take spores and put them in with some molasses. I used a different sugar. And supposedly the spores reproduce, and then you can spray them all over the place and get more of something. That didn't seem to work, although I didn't do quite a good enough job on the science, uh, scientific method of doing it. So, But th there's lots of things we can do where we can take the mushrooms we like and reproduce those uh, disproportionately. These mushrooms are so valuable, they even sell them in the market. So you can even go down to the market and there's uh, this and trompas, which is Hysomelium something something, that's actually an infection on another mushroom. Mushrooms are so interesting and cool. They're really complicated. I'm doing pretty good. Look. There's this weird part in here. This is um, the skirt, kind of like a little skirt in there. The gill, something like that. No, the gills are these guys. Oh, that is a different flavor. Totally different. That is weird. Do you want to try a little bit? Try that guy. And I got so much mushroom here. Let me try this guy. This is better. Oh, we, uh, we, uh, that's right. I forgot we're doing science here. Don't want to kill anybody. Don't kill other people. Do I really have to eat this whole thing? Seems like a lot. When I didn't get sick, this would be, a, this would be enough. believe you're still watching this. Can you comment and tell me why you're still watching this? I would just click ahead. Although I'm not going to die right away, right? Probably. Although with some poisonous mushrooms, maybe like, I mean, so there's mushrooms that are so poisonous and somebody makes a mistake and they take their whole family out and they collect the mushrooms and they go eat them and, and everybody dies. That happens, it seems like, every year. Don't be that person. <laughs> I say wondering about my own future. So if I end up barfing, should I, should I record that? That'd be exciting. 
I'm doing very good. Look, almost almost done. Really is pretty. I can speed this part up with the music. In. Now, I don't think I'm going to eat the stem, um, although I might as well check it out. It is a hollow stem, sort of, almost, not quite. Maybe be hollow if it got older. And the texture is harder. And you definitely want to cook that. I'm not going to eat that. Um, the other part, if this works, if I don't get sick, now you could just stick this in a salad or something. Although, I guess people should test their mushroom sensitivities. Um, button mushrooms, of course, are common. So people either know if they like those or not. I don't know if there's anybody who doesn't like button mushrooms, like if they have a negative physical reaction. Um, but probably if they came to a place like this during this time of the year, uh, they might want to do a little bit of tests and see if their system reacts well to mushrooms. The problem is they could even have a psychosomatic problem with it. And so maybe even thinking about it too much, like you could create the problem. I don't know. I, I, I'd have to investigate that, hear from other people's um, experiences. But uh, I can't believe I don't finish this whole thing. Um, so, you know, I'm very cautious. We look, we're way out here in the woods, and I don't want people to have problems, but I also don't want them to make up problems in their head. But then again, they can't control whether they make up problems in their head. It's, so maybe even talking about it's bad, but if I'm going to feed people anything, especially if it's unusual, then I have to talk about it. So I'm kind of stuck. And there might be people who are more prone to have a psychosomatic reaction than others. I know, for example, that some people are more prone to be hypnotized than other people. And there's actually tests for that. Um, yeah, I wonder if, because uh, I, I wouldn't want to take the risk with people who have a lot of easy psychological, uh, psychosomatic problems. I wonder how much that weighed. It was kind of heavy. Although the stem, there's a fair amount of the weight. I'm going to do it. I'm a winner. <laughs> Maybe. I'll find it later. I wonder how long I have to wait before I find out if I did something stupid or not.
I can donate my body to science while I'm still alive. Well, thanks for hanging in there and watching my final moments of life before I pass on. Um, or I prove that at least one person can safely eat uncooked Amanita cesarea mushrooms. So it's been a couple hours and nothing bad has happened. So this has been a successful science experiment. I also got a shower. I'm all clean and shaved. It's a little bit prettier. I haven't had a shower in two weeks because uh, it's inconvenient. I have to travel like uh, about 300 yards to another building. I have to get driven there. But so I feel really good. So that mushroom did me well for the shower. So yeah, that's the conclusion. The conclusion is that you can eat, no. The conclusion is I can eat raw Amanita muscaria. You'll have to do your own test and you might want to be a bit more reasonable and start with very small amounts. Well, there was a surprise ending. Uh, <clears throat> the experiment did not end there. And uh, some hours later, uh, in the evening and when it was dark, I, uh, you know, you're going to get honesty from me if I'm going to publish stuff. You'll not get everything, but anyway, I needed to go poo. And uh, my bathroom's actually off, not in the building. You have to walk to it on the trail. And it was dark, and, and I've been living a weird life. I don't even have a headlamp, so I had to borrow a headlamp. And I can't walk with a walker and carry a flashlight. And so I got there. And, uh, yeah, this is too much information. But it's science, medical science. And uh, my butt was like a faucet. It just... Um, so... What does that tell me? Well, I already know I'm doing something a normal person wouldn't do. That was a lot of mushroom to eat. So don't do that. And and I'll uh, reiterate what I said before. Don't eat mushrooms that you don't know really well. Don't do what I do. Uh, you know, this is a dangerous thing to be doing. And I'm going to do it some more. I'm going to, I'm going to, much more carefully in different ways eat other kinds of edible mushrooms and experiment because I'm willing to use my body as a, as a little laboratory but anyway in this case I had a bunch of diarrhea out of this um, and uh, no other bad effects so it's still useful but it's a good reminder that you know I am playing with, with really weird tricky things and I've got a, a list of mushrooms I'm making that, uh, that I'm, uh, we're going to eat a lot this year of, and we'll just do the normal things. We'll eat normal mushrooms that we know, and we'll cook them and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, uh, I just wanted to wrap that up and tell you the surprise that I got in the end. Good luck.